Hey guys, it's been 10 million years since I last did a video. If you don't know me, I am an inconsistent tuber of a lifetime, aka Janelle. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, as every YouTuber says of the world. I am literally in Bangkok, Thailand right now, and as you can see, my background is different. But I wanted to do a few videos. I wanted to do when I first got here, but it was such a long journey that I didn't want to and I was a gross disgusting wreck so I want to do like a little Airbnb apartment tour because it is amazing and this place is gorgeous and there's a gorgeous pool here and like workout room and I haven't really seen too many foreigners in this area but there are in um near the downtown busy area the CBD area which is central business district which is all you know where all the nightlife and stuff is and I'm pretty sure there's nightlife here too I just really haven't seen much but anyway I want to show you guys my Airbnb so okay so we are outside the door for my Airbnb and I will show you guys a hallway real quick this is what it looks like this is your standard hallway I am on the 10th floor and my number is 9568 which I thought was really cool and different because I've never seen anything like it and it's really busy here in Bangkok so here's the door, just your standard white door, and then you open it, and just a disclaimer, my room is trashed, like there's no tomorrow, so you open, you close the door, here's like your little shoe area, as you can see I have my shoes and heels in there because I'm going to be going to the rooftop bar it eventually, probably next week because I'm going to a different part of Tha northern Thailand today. And my and here's like the top of the shoe area, which is trashed with my converters and deodorant and my devices and stuff, just miscellaneous. And then you have your shelves here, which are really cool. And then you have like your, your surge box, which I'm not touching because I can't really speak and or read Thai at all. The only thing I really know is Sawadika and Kapkunka, and I'm pretty sure I butchered that. So there's my garbage, and then here's the couch. And you know, of course, it's trashed. And then you have my dress in the corner I got from H&M at um, Siam Paragon Mall or however you say it because I probably butchered it. And then here's the couch. It's really cool. And then my suitcase and clothes are everywhere because I am trash. And I'm going somewhere later today. So I'm like, why not take my suitcase with me instead of just my bag because I don't have the room. And if you go over here, you see the sliding door for the kitchen, which is awesome. And there's my fridge and microwave, which I just now saw. I didn't see it earlier. And my kitchen is a disheveled mess. There's a washing machine, clothes rack, table with my water and dried laundry and garbage again because I am a mess and a wreck and here is a view from my window there is a little playground there there's the subway and traffic is really crazy today utility closet is right here it just leads to outside so close that and then if you come over here the turn around you can see my shadow Woo -hoo! in the window of the dividing door and I like the chair it's really chic and again my trash mess I swear it wasn't this bad yesterday like I literally just did this disgusting mess this morning because I'm going on a trip like I said and then here's the bathroom it's pretty cool yo so here is the sink Nothing too fancy. Cleaning supplies, garbagery, and the toilet, my brush. The shower's pretty cool. Another sliding door. My only complaint is that I don't really get hot water. It's like lukewarm the best. So like there's the shower head and the shower system. Just standard. It's not bad. It's actually really cool. I really like this Airbnb. It's absolutely gorgeous. Later, I will show the pool and it, probably not the workout room because there's always people in there and I'm always getting stared at, which is expected because not many 
say marshmallows, white people, or, or foreigners, whatever, excuse me. Not many people, foreigners are in this area. I've only seen maybe, not even one. I thought, I, I thought he was a foreigner, but he wasn't. Just from behind, he looked like he was. But yeah, this is the bathroom. And I really like it. Tiles, everything. The wood floors. And here is the bedroom. The bedroom, like I said, is a wreck. But we go over to the curtain. It is the, I think it's like a queen size bed, king size bed with a really awesome comforter. This bed, when I first jumped on it after I got here at like almost midnight because I had over 20, 20 hours of travel time. And there's your little closet over there. And then there's like a little nightstand. And then another nightstand right here. And if you turn around, here is a view from the bedroom. It's a studio apartment, but this place is amazing. And if you turn around, you can see it. The bed. Yo. And I know it's a disheveled mess. And I probably should have made it before I got up, but I'm still trying to get used to um, the time difference. It's a 12-hour difference, which just isn't bad. And there's an awesome TV. I tried watching some Thai TV, and it was really interesting. And if you turn around... Here it is from the doorway. This place is really, really. So that is my apartment tour in Bangkok, Thailand, or Bangkok, Thailand, however you want to say it. And this place was, I think, not even, I think it was like less than $20 a month for the Airbnb. And it was, it's a fantastic deal, I believe. And I, there's no way in hell I could have got here on my own. I'm so glad there's air conditioning systems in here. I think I forgot to show those, but I can do it in a second, like right now. See? Every apartment in um, in Thailand, or don't quote me on that, Bangkok, Bangkok, every apartment has air conditioning because it is so humid and hot here. And for the past few days in Celsius, it's been like 33. And it felt like one yesterday, I think it got to like 34, 35. And it literally felt like it literally felt like it, I think it's the 39. And I'm like, oh my God, it's been like, it, and for, for Americans and, or yeah, it was 93 yesterday. And I went to the Grand Palace and Watarun and something else. Actually, no, I didn't go to Watarun. I went to the one. Reclining Buddha. Yeah, I went to the Reclining Buddha and I didn't go to Watarun, but I really want to go to Watarun Because like it's like kill three birds in one stone. <laughs> Two birds one stone. I can't think I can't English But yeah, this place is amazing so far and I got so burnt yesterday. I was so exhausted from being in the Sun like all day from Like 11 a.m. to like 7 30 at night. So I was really tired and by the time I got back, I had, you know, I stopped in the fancy part of Paragon Mall and ate something. I had fried chicken. I'm like, oh, what's why not? And everyone else was using, like, they give you, like, forks and spoons. And so everyone was using, like, <laughs> using the fried chicken off the bone. I'm like, you want to know what? Fuck it. So I just started eating it normally with my hands. And people were like, you're savage. But I'm like, I'm not. You, if this is a bougie restaurant, you could have gave me a damn knife, but it was only a fork and a spoon. And I'm like, eh, you can't can't always win with these things. But I'm like, whatever. It was fine. The chicken was good. I came back. I went swimming, and I scared the people off <laughs> from the pool again. <laughs> Woo! -hoo, it's what I do. I scare people off. But yeah, this is my apartment tour, as you can see. And it looks like a clothes bomb went off and it looks like I'm a disheveled mess, but I swear I'm not always like this. It's just, I'll put these away in a little bit and I left the food out because I was exhausted. I went to bed at like 8.30 yesterday because I got burnt really, really bad. But yeah, that is my apartment tour for Bangkok, Thailand. And I will show you one last time what it looks like, just one small swoop. Okay, let's get started.